today I really have to try to get back on my routine that you guys saw in the time blocking video because I've just been letting it lax and it's not conducive to productivity. So I have to get back on that routine. I'm already a little bit behind schedule just because I had to bring my best friend to work, which is no problem. You know, I'm, I'm happy I'm able to do that for her. So it just meant that my writing time, which is now sort of writing slash reading time since I'm doing the reading challenge, was what got sacrificed, which is fine. Not a big deal. I'd rather that get sacrificed than my actual work. So it's 920 right now. Um, and I usually don't start my actual work till 10. So that's fine. Technically, I'm on schedule. It's just that I had to sacrifice my writing time, which is, again is fine because right now I'm not really sure what I would be working on anyway, because as you guys saw, Project JK is not going well. I think I'm going to, what I'm going to work on in October is planning another series, an ongoing series, because that's a little bit easier to do with everything else I got going on, plus the reading challenge than it is to draft. And I'm, I'm really excited about the idea of this series too. Um, I'm not going to give anything away right now, but I will talk to you guys about it later on in another video. So yeah, I think that's what I'm going to be working on right now. So it doesn't really matter that my time got cut today because it's not a big deal. It's just really not a big deal. I probably would have used it to read instead of write anyway. So I'm just, it's like I said, 920. I'm just going to watch the rest of Charmed and eat my three little pieces of bacon. I already ate my toast because I couldn't wait because I was starving and the bacon was taking forever. So, and... Bestie got me another PSL for taking her to work, which perfect payment for me. And so I'm going to finish that up and then I'm going to get to work and hopefully I'm going to stay on routine. Hopefully you guys are going to keep me accountable. Obviously it's going to be a little wonky because I have to go pick her up again at five, which is normally dinner time anyway. So really it's not going to be too bad, but otherwise I have to stay on schedule because I need to get stuff done and I need to get back on the schedule for me, for my mental health, and for productivity. Okay, it's 10 o'clock. I'm in the office. I have on my spirit jersey because it's freezing in here, even though I am extremely happy about that. I still have to cover up because if I'm cold while I work, I give up. So I am going to get to work. I have a meeting in a little under an hour, so I don't have time to do too much. So I'm just going to get to work and see how much I can get done. It's 10 minutes to 11 and I edited two chapters so that's not too bad for that short period of time but I got to get ready for the meeting which probably take about an hour so probably go till lunchtime and then back to work. The uh, story that I'm editing right now is very appropriate for the season because it has to do with spiders so that's kind of fun and kind of creepy all at the same time <laughs> but um, I'm enjoying it so far. Um, the meeting is our weekly scheduling meeting and also to talk about a couple other things. So I'll bring you guys along and see what we get up to. Obviously, as always, Lynn and I always talk about everything under the sun except for what we're supposed to be talking about. So we'll see what comes out of it. Lynn is actually back on YouTube with um, The Road to an Abundant Author Life. It is the new name of her podcast as well. So that's really fun. And um, yeah, let's get going on this meeting. Meeting is done. Time for lunch. It did take about an hour, but uh, <laughs> it probably would have taken about 15 minutes if we had stayed on topic. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm eating for lunch.
frankly, I can't be bothered to cook, so I'm just gonna make this Lean Cuisine maple bourbon chicken, white meat chicken with white and wild rice, pecans, sweet potatoes and cranberries, and a maple bourbon sauce. It sounds actually really good, so why not? It only takes five minutes, so that's good. As you saw, I discovered that during the meeting, I had spilled some pumpkin spice latte on my spare jersey. Does anybody else really hate that Starbucks cups do that? Why do they leak? It doesn't make any sense. And it's always towards the end of the drink. So I put the rest of it in my glass and I'll get a straw since I'm gonna be eating my lunch in the living room and I don't have to worry about it being covered. Now I'm wearing Hocus Pocus again, which is very, very comfortable, very soft and very warm. So it's fine. really good meal. I think I'll get that one again. I don't really usually get microwavable meals anymore because I have so much salt in them. And for a while there, I was eating those plus the um, Jimmy Dean's breakfast sausage sandwich things. And that was just so much sodium content that I was just feeling horrible. But, you know, occasionally you don't want to cook. So, so that one's good. So I enjoyed that. And unfortunately, it is now almost one o'clock, which means it's time to get back to work. And since it's one o'clock, it's YouTube time. So that means editing a video. And we're going to find out if putting the lower setting in my recordings is going to help with exporting. Fingers crossed. stuff which means coming back into the office where of course the sun is shining in why wouldn't it be turn the fan off so you guys don't have to listen to that earlier I did editing um I think honestly I still have other editing to do but it's a lot easier to do that stuff when my mom is home than like PA stuff so I think I'm going to get to work on that. Um, honestly, don't even know what I have to do because I'm just all over the place today. Let me get out my trusty to-do list and check. Oh, I got to get, get to search um, stock photo sites. That'll be fun. So, but that's also on my tablet. So that I might do that later when um, we are, mom and I are out in the living room together because I can do that with basically no brain power. We did our meeting, so that's done. So it looks like mostly just admin stuff. So that's pretty easy and stuff I can easily get done before I have to go pick up Bestie at five in two hours. So that's what I'm going to work on.
I take it back. It's still going to be admin tasks, but I was going to do a lot of my personal assistant work on Sunday because I'm taking care of my best friend's cat again. Um, so I was just going to do stuff that was easy. Um, but I have like two hours before I have to pick her up. Honestly, I think my time is going to be best spent doing all PA stuff. So I have to switch our Google Drive to Notion, which Notion, if you don't know, is basically like Mila Note that I showed in the last video. Um, and both are great. Mila Note's just a little bit more flexible and obviously more like a bullet journal, which is why I prefer it. Um, but Notion is great for teams. I'm kind of failing at this routine thing, but I'm kind of like not, I don't really have for sure what I'm doing in each block, which is one of the things that is really helpful when it comes to time blocking is actually having set tasks for each thing. So I, I'm still struggling a little bit with this, with this routine, but I really need to get back into it. So trying to stick to it today is going to help with that, hopefully. So hopefully after I pick up Bestie and, sh and she's on her way home, I can be a little bit more in tune with what I want to do for the night. So I'm just going to work on PA stuff and what I get done is what I get done. friends it is quite a bit later it's almost seven o'clock at night and today was a fail honestly I mean yeah I sort of got back to routine but not enough so I'm gonna try again tomorrow so wish me luck and I will see you guys in the next video if you enjoyed this one give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already and hit that notification bell and I'll see you guys soon bye